Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's um, 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm drinking my morning coffee, and I'm working on my mirabilia this Christmas Eve, like I did yesterday. Um, I finished this long line. Uh, yeah, I can't show you. It doesn't fit in the display. But I finished this and I started some beading. And I wanted to show you how I bead. And I got some advice from a woman named Tracy yesterday. Thank you very much. So I'm going to... Uh, continue doing what she said uh, so I'm gonna bead this small part here um, and <laughs> last late last night I realized that these beads I had put in purple beads so that was wrong so that's what I had to start this morning with to fix that and that wasn't fun to fix with this invisible thread I mean you you can see the thread when the light hits it but otherwise it's uh, it's difficult to see but I like this thread uh, it's a bit difficult but um, you don't see it and it seems very strong so what I start by doing is I take my uh, beading needle and I thread thread it um, the invisible thread which I am holding in my hand um, and then at the end I'm gonna do I think it's called a waist knot Do two of those. And remember, I am absolutely no expert in this. That didn't turn out the way I wanted. And I'm very new, new at beating and when you're gonna show it on camera it it's always looks like it's not so easy so it's a little bit fiddly um, can you see it's a small weight waist knot there um, and then I secure the thread on the back. So I'll find a good spot to secure the thread. I run it under under some threads. Where is my helping needle? I think what's difficult with this thread is that it is kind of invisible. So sometimes it's difficult to see. And then I run. So, so let's see, so you have good lighting and everything. So since it's not fun to redo a wrong 
beaded beads with the invisible thread make sure you put in the right beads from the start so I am going to I'm looking at my pattern and I have this it's actually a little bit uh, a snack box and I've put my tacky uh, bead mat I think it's called I think it's called that it says here it's the bead smith so I've put it in this box and I pulled out the beads that I'm gonna use so now I just need to double check it's the golden it's the golden beads first right so I don't think you're gonna Okay, and I just grab and now the bead is here, right? Oh, I got the end with me up. Oh, that's typical. Oh well, so I go up in one corner, um, in this case I went up in the bottom left corner and I'm going to go down in the top right corner. And I like when the beads are like diagonal, so I don't do a full cross, I do a half cross. And to secure it, Tracy told me, go through twice so that was once I go up in the lower left corner again I go through the bead and down in the right corner in the upper right so now it's secure there and now I go up in the area over the, that golden bead and then I'm using the dark petite and this bead is very small I think it's called a petite bead and this is why I don't like the 28 count because the bead is not covering the whole uh, fabric and I want it to do that so I'm really looking forward to try to do a Mirabilia on a 32 count to see if I get a, a nicer result. So I went, did I go through twice? I think so. Yeah, I think so. So now I need, since I went down in the top right corner on that bead there, I can't go up in the same corner. So I need to go up in the top right corner for the next bead. so and I go through the bead again so if you haven't seen noticed already that my beads are on the diagonal and sometimes or 
some people I think prefer the beads to kind of be straight and then to get the bead straight I've never tried but to get the bead straight you need to uh, when you go through the bead a second time you need to do a full cross and that will make the bead stand straight and maybe that would be better in some of the designs I guess you will have to you know look at the design and see what you prefer but I like the, di the diagonal way um, there is another kind of uh, beading thread which isn't invisible you can get it in I've seen it in black and white and on YouTube I've seen that someone used gray it also seems to be a very nice thread I guess a little bit easier to work with but I've only tried the invisible thread and normal DMC thread I use DMC threads on my Mill Hill kit and that worked fine as well it's just I rather prefer that um, I don't see the thread So just it's important to make sure you get all of that invisible thread down to the back so it won't leave a lot of those uh, like loops and sometimes I miss that because the thread is very hard to see but the result is very nice. So, and then we have the final needle in this little, I guess it's like small ornaments in, in her dress. It looks so beautiful with all the beads when the light is hitting. When the light is hitting the beads. So now that one is done and I wanted to go over to this one because these are I guess the normal I don't know CB beads or the treasure beads let's see it's glass beads glass petite glass beads those are the ones in the middle and the golden is called Magnifica glass beads. So I guess they're a little bit bigger than the petites. And what
what else? Now I'm going to go and do the bigger ones. And those are, I'm checking my pattern here. It's the 616606, six, six, I think it's the big ones. Yeah, so this is the ones I'm going to use now. And they're called size 6 glass beads. So they're a little bit bigger. And these are fun because they're, I mean, they're kind of big, so it's a bit difficult to get them to fit sometimes. Uh, they sit better than other times, but I like the, um, what do you call it? I just like how it looks and it's fun. You know, you stitch with these tiny, tiny beads and then all of a sudden you get these huge beads. So I have them there now on my beading mat. Not beading mat. Um, my tacky. So let's travel over to this place. So I am starting in the pot top right corner. Grab my knee, my bead. Go down in the bottom left corner. Like so. And then I go up in the top right corner again. I go through the needle. No, through the bead. And down in the left corner. Like so. So now this bead is bigger than that. Uh, those two threads of fabric. So the other two are going to have a li little hard time to fit, but it's doable. So I go up in the bottom left corner in the next uh, square. I grab the, um, the bead. Go down in the top right corner. Like so. And up in the bottom left, go through the bead. And I need to put it, push it a little bit to the side so I can find that top right corner again. Like so. And then it's the last one. I go up in the bottom left. Grab my bead, go down in the top right, go up in the bottom left. Let's see, so I get the whole thread with me. Yeah. Go through the bead. And down in the bottom top right. I'm sorry, I'm very focused here. <laughs> so now they are secured.
So I'm going to continue. I can feel that the, the beads are very nice and secure. So I'm going to continue up here and bead this part up here with the um, with these nice pink beads. But it's the same process, so I won't bore you and film that. And I, I noticed that I get very focused when I when I bead. Um, so uh, I'm not very good at chatting and beading, I guess. But that's how I'm doing when I bead and how I learned is through YouTube. Um, so I, I recommend that go um, check YouTube for the beading videos because there's a lot of great videos out there. Um, but yeah. I hope to finish the beading today and to start on the other, um, it's called a bow, I think. Um, so I'm getting very close to finish her uh, bottom part of the dress. So um, yeah, looks uh, very nice. So everyone, uh, thank you for watching. I hope it was a little bit helpful uh, to see how I bead. Uh, and as I said, I'm no expert. I'm a beginner at this, but if I can do it, so can you. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Hey, don't forget to fill out the form if you want to join future uh, giveaways. Um, you can find the link down below in the, the description box. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe, because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.